stunning revelations in regards to real estate today. Foreign buyers are having a field day with Aussie property. It's off the back of record migration. More than half a million people have moved here in the past 12 months and they all need a place to live. New data shows foreign real estate buyers have reached their highest level since 2018. According to the NAB, the total share of market sales to foreign buyers in the new housing market has increased for the fourth straight quarter. It's now at a five-year high of 10.1%. The increase in overall market share has been driven by New South Wales, where it increased to 14.9%. So let me repeat that. Almost 15% of the new homes being built in New South Wales are being purchased by overseas investors. Some of them are never going to live here. So for every 100 homes we're building, 15 are bought by someone from another country. Overseas inquiries have skyrocketed. Agents are seeing increases of 400%. And some of the stories from real estate agents are out of this world. The Financial Review has interviewed some of the top agents from Melbourne. There's a gentleman by the name of Alex Bragalevsky, who works in the affluent suburb of Turak. Have a listen to what Alex shares. He says, I've facilitated $135 million worth of deals in Turak alone in the past six months. Every buyer was from China. The Chinese will pay over the odds for dwellings. And this bloke must feel like he's won the lottery. He sold two mansions worth $22 million and $34 million. He says the Chinese buyers come to Melbourne on a private jet. I'll meet them at the airport in a nice car. Then we go and look at real estate. I'm currently working on a number of deals between $20 million and $50 million. They should be closed by Christmas. And if his clients like the luxury home, they'll write a cheque. They'll pay the deposit on the spot. Another real estate agent in the same area has a similar story. His name, David Morrill. He says, we're seeing jumps of up to $3 million per property. We have a marketplace that is disproportionately being sold to Chinese buyers. They're coming by the busload. Now, remember, real estate agents benefit from all of this, so it's not in their interest to talk about it, but at least these two are. David Morrill has told news.com.au about an astonishing case involving a luxury property. It was listed for $9.2 million, and Mr Morrill says there were five Chinese parties bidding. It ended up selling for $12 million. The successful buyer paid a $3 million premium, and there were four wounded underbidders who missed out. The wider data is damning. In the last financial year, 6,500 Australian homes were snapped up by foreign buyers. Chinese residents spent $3.4 billion. Another $600 million from Hong Kong, $400 million from Vietnam, and $300 million each from Taiwan and Singapore. So we're in the middle of this massive housing crisis. Aussies need somewhere to live, but instead the system gives a green light to rich foreigners. And don't blame them. They're just taking advantage of our soft approach. Plenty of other countries say no to foreign buyers. In Australia, we roll out the red carpets. What about that? Where a home is listed for $9.2 million, it ends up being sold for $12 million. And you've got the real estate agent who is going out to the airport in a nice vehicle, picking up people flying in from China on a private jet. Mm-hmm.